All right, guys, and welcome back. So we've got a little unfinished business. After meeting the healer down here, who basically couldn't do a hell of a lot for us, but did back out from trying to kill us, we're going to backtrack here and speak to uh, that lady. Where's that lady gone? This was the, uh, the the one who... Oh, there you are. That's who you are. Nettie. Nettie the healer who couldn't heal. Ah... This is her, Kaga. Kaga, leader of the druids, ordered the tieflings to leave the grove. Zevla fears they won't survive the road and asked us to intervene. And that's what we're about to do. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Oh man, my man, he's so good with his stunned silence, isn't it? Only a monster would threaten a child. It's so true. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> you see, I would love to play this game as a complete asshole, but I'm not sure we're going to do that. Let me let me try with this. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Alright, this this rite must be born of powerful magic, or Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. Yeah, well that's why we're kind of here. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the Grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. I see how she's modeled her hair on the, the, the sort of the shape of a head of a cobra. <laughs> Looks great. Looks great, Kaga. Uh, then it seems I better speak to Sevlor. Prattle all you want, the refugees are my... No, no, no. We're going to do what we've... Promise to do. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Alright. I guess it's quite clear. Let's go. We're gonna... Oh, look at that. I got stuck in the water. That slowed my movement down. That's interesting for the future. Uh, use the door. Very good. Well done, Toto. As always, guys, if you're enjoying the series, and I'm really enjoying the game, but if you're enjoying the series as well, you know what to do. What is this pig doing? Is this bear blowing bubbles? He is. Love the little guy. Animal handling. Carefully nudge the bear's flank. Oh, God, this could go horribly wrong. But try it. Try it. Difficulty 10. I've got no bonuses here. I could add one. With the borrow a bit of guidance. I don't think guidance has helped me at all. Oh, that is jammy. We just about made it. Right, the bear's not going to bite our head off. Oh, it was to move him out the way. Oh, will you look at that? What are we doing up here? Well, I guess we're leaving. I'm on the wrong side of everything, though. Do you see this yellow dot? Is, are these characters you can just interact with? Why would I need to talk to a... Squirrel. A red squirrel, no less. The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. Brilliant. Did dexterity kick the squirrel or, or, or animal handling study its behavior? Yes, well, let's try to figure out what's going on here. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Uh, we'll go with the guidance again. Oh, well, that's a clear pass. Critical success. If you get 20 in any dice roll, you pass no matter what happened. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove 
to another. I think I understand now. Let's kick her. No. Uh, scold her with a click of your tongue. Ooh, this could work. Let's give it a go. It's another ten roll. We got the guidance bonus. And again, clear she pass. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble. <laughs> she scurries away. I love that. We've just been we've just been told. So we, what do we get for this? A timber's incentive. We convinced Timber. Oh, that's the squirrel's name. To let us walk on their territory. He left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. We received. What is that? Is that like an acorn or something? I have no idea. Okay, Timber. Good luck to you. Um, next time, though, I'm going to give you a good squirreling. I hope I'm headed the right way here. Oh, wait a sec. What is this? This is where I'm supposed to be? Yes, yeah, save the refugees. We got it. So many people to talk to. This is such a wide, massive game. And I'm only, what, like, in terms of gameplay, I'm probably six hours into this. Why is it telling me I've got to go back that way? Is that... Oh, that's a different mission. Oh, that's all the other missions. So this is the one. We can try and help these guys. We've helped them out once before. Can I steal that? Nope. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Interesting. Leaving the grove is the best option I can help. Can you delay the ritual? You have to resist. Best of luck with that. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm not here to advise you. I'm here to make sure you leave. Now, can you delay the ritual? Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm supposed to help them. Leaving is the best option I can help. Maybe it's true. Oh, I don't really know, and I'm not sure I care that much. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them. Bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Well, I, I don't want to blow my trumpet, but yes, yes, I probably am. Kill the Goblin Horde leaders. Okay. Can you pay me? Not my problem, I'm not interested. Okay, well, I mean... I suppose I could go through this. I want to play this a bit like a witcher, though. Who always asks for money. No, see, that's not what I want to do. We'll try Everyone and do this. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Okay, Astarian disapproves. No, Phenomenal. A clear path past those goblins. Okay, They'll now I've, I've got level yes. two spell slots now. I've got three there. Let me check my, uh, let me check my crew. How are we doing on this side? There's no time to waste. She's got a load of spell slots available too, because I haven't really used much. And Astarian, by the way, on his on his level up. Still breathing. Um, everything. I've given him a few spells to use, which is kind of cool. So, I think we're ready. Let's get moving. Wait a minute, wait a minute, which way, which way? Travel to the goblin camp. Ah, okay, different path. Okay. Oh, by the way, R3 on the controller does the same thing as that left alt button, and it will highlight uh, areas where you're visible. I think that's what the red the red means, but also lootable crates and boxes and things. Goblins, no. So yeah, I'm kind of getting used to the controls all over again, having 
played it, but I think it's important to probably try, if you're going to use the PC and you want to use controller, it's probably a very good idea to just sort of mix it up. Try the keyboard and mouse first. Who are you, Lacrissa? Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Uh, not with that attitude. <laughs> Try not to keel over the first blade drawn. Or will you? I don't see many soldiers. Oh, do I have to pick one of these? I don't know. I'm going to go with the first one. It seems more inspirational. <laughs> there's optimism and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Uh, I'm not a gambling man, but I think I can manage. You have an odd sense of humor. This isn't really funny. Uh, how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? Well, yeah. All right, forget that. It's a very good point, but we're going to have a bit. Ten pieces Excellent. of gold. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. Look, Chrissa, I like the cut of your so jib. Ways to die. Uh, what have we got over here? Hang on a minute. There's a backpack. I can lie down. Oh, hang on a minute. I can open this and I won't get done for stealing. It's got a potato in it. That's the second time that's happened now where one of my characters has just not followed us. Is it because they don't have a certain movement ability? What is that? She's miles away. What are you doing over there? Ah, oh, she didn't get on the uh, on the lift when we all did. So you've really got to be careful then. She didn't meet the lovely squirrel. Right, Lazelle, you better you better get out of the way. Everybody, strap yourselves in. What is going on? Oh, she's stuck there, look! Um... Okay, everybody back off. Lazelle. Select. There we go. We got you out. Let's, let's, let you take the lead. We'll group everybody back together again. And go. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go this way. This is also the way where we were supposed to find... Arabella. Here yeah, the druids are holding off. Anyone else who wants to join? The poor tieflings. Uh, oh, you're you, Arabella. Arabella, stop! You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll! Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Okay, maybe I picked the wrong person for this conversation, but anyway. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. I saved your daughter. Got anything more than, more than a thank you for me? This could have ended badly. Keep her in line from now. No more light fingered antics, right? About yeah, that's probably more appropriate. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Basically, don't steal again. We got a reward. I was fine. Your mother was a heartbeat. You away It'd be nice if we could actually bear. see what that Isn't is. Isn't that how mum usually is? But I'm Why guessing I just have to go into my my inventory to see it. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. Oh, no, damn it. Okay, back into the keyboard mode. This is this is. I'll get I'll get the hang of it. I just don't know how to go into inventory from my um my controller yet. So it's called Chimera's Locket. Grants its wearer the ability to cast dancing lights. Let's, let's give you that. You now have the ability to craft dancing lights. Good job. And maybe it's good that I'm actually playing as Lazelle for this bit, because this was her mission. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anything in there? A large bottle, thank you. Uh, wat watered Havian cheese wedge. Oh, are they just fu Oh, it's training? They're fighting? What's going on? Oh, yeah, he's training. It's all good. I thought I was going to have to be Seems called into Maul action. Seems as good as her word. She's reported that you've been threatening children. What? Threatening children? 
I just told her to stop stealing things. Deception. Children. I haven't spoken to any children. Uh, rogue intimidation. I'm a dab hand at threatening adults as well. Do you want to see? Ooh. Why am I... Why am I him? Why is it him? Why is Hysterion the one being picked on here? Children. I haven't spoken to any children. Oh, we're about to tell a lie. We've got a bonus deception proficiency here. So we need to get a 10? Sorry. No! Oh god, we need to get... We need to get a lot. I don't think we can do this. No way. We've lost. What does that mean? It means we're going to roll again. Um, yeah, sure. We need to roll a perfect 20. Ah. Oh, that was so close. How, how many times can I keep doing this? Your lies only inflame the matter further. Things could turn ugly very rapidly. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? We could surrender and go to prison. <gasps> how is it... How has it come to this? Alright, I'm going to go to prison. Because I don't want to attack. I don't think that would be a wise thing right now. Oh, it's just him. Oh, well, we'll leave you here, mate. You're a bit of a dick anyway. Rusted prison door, makeshift prison. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies. So what does this mean? Dogs. That's an unruly looking mushroom. Best not get too close. A malnourished. What's it called? Uh, uh, I don't, I, oh! Oh God! Yeah, all right. Um, now I knew it was there. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Let me out, you bunch of softies. Okay. That's not being opened. Um, what do I have to do? Do I have to break him out with one of my other characters? What's gone wrong today? <laughs> can we talk to him? Maybe, maybe we can. We can get him. We can persuade him out. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Monster? Are you kidding me? She's she's a she's a wonderful, friendly, lovable person. Hold it, Lazelle, I'll see to this one. Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. You heard the woman about oh Is this monster with you? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. Well let's let's start with a little assertion. I see that uh, Lower. Shadowheart didn't like that much. We're here playing a game. Wait for the tiefling to obey. Oh, that's enough, Lozelle. I'll take it from here. Yeah, come on, I'll take over. But good job, good job. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Shut up. Enough, Lozelle. You will be silent. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Uh, there was a little pop-up at the top left there, but it disappeared really quickly. Okay, you can breathe. I won't let her hurt you. Uh, you, tell me where you saw the Githyanki. And we're doing this the aggressive way. On the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. Man, I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. I'm sorry, she could be harsh. No, 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 we're not apologizing here. Thanks for the information you can get up. All right, Lazelle, you got what you needed. Um, let's just say thanks for the info. Be back up again. Now, what are we going to do about our our prisoner? How do we get him out of there? I'm going to take a quick save just in case. Oh, Lazelle wants to chat. Go on then. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. Subordinate? I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Subordinate, no, you'll treat me with respect. That's, that's exactly. Set those boundaries, man. You've made your point. I'll finish. If you finish scaling me, what comes next? No, we're partners. Treat me with respect. Shut up. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. 
If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Okay, did you say teethling? <laughs> she did, she did. She did. What do you mean purification? She means getting rid of the tadpoles, I'm sure. I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Oh, we see a little bit of a weakness there. Just We just opened a little wound or a crack in the door. She might crack if she smiles, I'm sure. No, it's uh, Feyrun. <laughs> anyway, what about this purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Got it. Okay, we're done. Alright, we've got to get in here, try and break our buddy out of jail. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. What's going on here then? You ain't going to shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Now, can we help out here at all? Uh, shut up, those words could be your last. Interesting. Or should we try to dissuade her? We can step between the crossbow and the goblin. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but what have we got to lose? Only our lives. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're going to kill him too? You, move! Uh, ooh, lower the crossbow or I'll deliver you t right to your brother. Oh, that's cussing. Cutting even. Um, no shoot me should be easy. This won't avenge Kanan. It won't change anything. Or I can read her thoughts. Let's try a persuasion roll. What have we got? A difficulty of 10. I've got plus one for my wonderful charisma. So we need a nine or more. Come on, come on, dice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was just in. Excellent. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I don't particularly. She's not a practice target, she's a person. Well, if she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. Very good point. A goblin prisoner. Her life isn't yours to take. That is a good line. Very good line. Uh, but also, because vengeance eats people alive, you'll grant the goblins two victories this day. Oh, that's, that's wise beyond his years. Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Shadowheart approved that one. It appears very briefly You're sometimes. Be sorry. Who Every approves and disapproves? It's a bit annoying. And speaking of being a bit annoying, you in there. Talk. I ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. The Absolute? I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. Oh, listen to this. In all my studies, I've seen no reference to a god called the Absolute. Goddess. Oh. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Okay, you've caught my interest. Have any holy literature? Uh, an all-powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage? Oh, yeah. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will, if you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could Ooh. probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Yep, well, beggars can't be choosers. So, uh, well, we'd like to meet her. Nice story. <laughs> Buy it for a copper in a tavern nearby. It's the truth. I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Uh, deal? I'll get you out there. No. 
You've already told me what I need to know. I'll find her myself. Ah, <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Rot. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. Okay. Well, that was a pleasant conversation. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Now we've got Even to your cages are try boring. and get our buddy Asterion out of there. What is in these boxes? Equipment chest. What's all this? Oh, this is this is all Astarian's gear. Oh, what's in this one? I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies Use. and your dogs. Oh, that's that's actually nothing. Evidence chest. What evidence? Oh, what evidence have they got against you, Astarian? <laughs> these trumped-up charges. What is it he did anyway? Anyway, I think we're gonna have to try and <clears throat> bust him out. So we need to find something that's breakable. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Don't touch me, Astarian. I don't know what you're gonna do. Pick up the cooking pot. Okay. In fact, hang on. Let me just get into the inventory because I think you can throw things. You're I've never been. Be any good at Every doing it? Throw. Ah, uh, look at this. Right, let me let me just zoom back in. Uh, camera, camera. There we go. Look, the broken door. Right. Ha! Yes. Look, it's worked. Um, why is the camera doing that weird thing? Okay, that's oh, a little better. Let's throw boring. it again. Can we throw it again? Even your cages are boring. Oh, you ah! just keep picking it up and throwing it. Throwing. I'm not sure the controller works. Yes! Check it out. We are free. Somehow, we made it. Okay, so. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Oh, we've still got some things we can pick up here. Right, pitchfork. Uh. I thought I saw something else. A burlap sack with. Destitute clothes, lovely. You're uh, gonna be a sorry. rotten carrot. Every last one of you. Okay, let's get down here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back off, back off. We found one of those explosive bloody mushrooms again. Oh, ho, ho, that worked beautifully. Nice. Okay, well, while we're in keyboard mode, um, let me. We'll do a jump. See that some of the selection of the spells is is much quicker with the keyboard, and we found another one. Oh, but guess what? We know that we know the trick now. Ha! Let me out, you bunch of softies! All right, that that lady is getting on my nerves, somewhat. So now we found our way out, dude. Keep going. Good jump. And that, I think, is it. We're out of here. Ho ho ho! That's sorry. curious. Every last one of door. You. I don't suppose you can jump up this way, can you? Oh, you could. But. There may be more to this. What are we here? Yeah, what have we got here? This, this might backfire. Huh. Oh, are they, are they goblins up ahead? <gasps> no, I know where we are. Right. Get out of here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, I'm gonna bite the heads off I will grab a bucket, but why not? Birdies and your dogs. Jump. Oh, come on, you got this, man. Yes, you little beauty, and we are home free. And in that case, you can grab all this stuff. Take it all. But now how do we get out of here without causing any trouble? Now we've broken out, I'm gonna quick save that. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Time to rest. Let's let's just let's just leave. But where are we leaving to? I had so many things I planned to do today. <laughs> oh boy. Uh I could go to camp, but I sort of wanna get out of here. I'm gonna fast travel. You're gonna be sorry! Every last Fast travel over this way, because we, we've got some investigating to do this over this side. Travel to the goblin camp. Oh, that's the goblin priestess. Ah, yes, that's the one she was talking about. 
And then up here, find the Gith Yankee patrol, search for signs of the Gith Yankee crew. So everything we want is over here somewhere. It's a long oh, journey. All, all right, let's travel to the waypoint. There's a... I like that, though. That's a quick get-out-of-jail-free card, that, isn't it? Where is he? He's only left behind. What is happening here? Why is he... separated? I don't understand. Travel. Alright. So, let's group you back together. Look at that. He won't group in with the party. Why not? What is wrong with you? There we go. All right, now the gang's back together. I don't know what happened there. I had to press G a couple of times. Still, um, I'm going to go with Shadowheart to lead the way on this one. About time you took the reins. She seems like the kindest, more sensible of the lot. I'll That's... be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Yeah, yeah. Tough talk. Ladies, please get along. We have a long journey ahead, and we don't know what we're going to need to to do collaboratively. Do you know that word? These tracks, squat, bow-legged, goblins, I'd say. What is this? Oh, you see, I was off on a mission, and now we're going to get distracted in an underground passage. This looks remarkably like the place we just were. Okay, I have mm. to. I have to explore. I don't think that statue's eyes are glowing to provide illumination. Best be careful. Okay, what is that? Whoa! Yeah, all right, I get it. Uh, whoa, okay, okay, everybody back off. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. We're gonna leave. We've taken too much damage. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Hold on. Okay. There's trouble ahead. Wonderful. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now, how do we go into... S yeah, there we go. Into hiding mode. Now, My let's... Oh, while well, we're in actually... No, she's not the right person. Let's go with Astarian. The Astarian, the Stallion. And we're going to ungroup. I want to I explore... With just him alone. And we're all in the sneaky mode. I don't know. What do we got? Edwin. Brianna. And Andrik. Maybe this isn't so bad. Well, everybody's somehow hidden, but they're all standing up. Alright, let's let's just let's just talk. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Is it? Is it a, a little vibration somewhere? Maybe? What happened to your friend? Uh, medicine, his wounds look deep, I might be able to help. Hey, this this might be a good way to start this conversation. Uh, or was this illithid wisdom? I will go where I wish. No, 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 no. Let's just start with a little friendship. We can always stab them in the back when they're not expecting it. Uh, we roll, only roll a ten. Can we get a bonus from a little bit of guidance? Yep, let's do it. Yep, kind of needed that. A bit of trouble. Bit of trouble. Brother, your sword. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming chair. Oh, great. He's got a worm in there, hasn't he? Hold his stare, move away, reaching for your weapon. Hold his stare. I want to see if we can communicate. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. Ed. Please. 
He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Well, this is a turn up, isn't it? All I had to do was a little mind meld and suddenly I've got two new loyal followers. As a true soul. True soul, explain this absolute to me. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the druid Halcyn. Well, why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. Okay, look, let's, let's start with what happened. We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Okay, I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill what? him! Oh! No, wait, we were doing so well! Oh, for God's sake! They could have been friends. I don't want to kill them. I'm going to reload. Alright, let's have... Uh, this time around. Now, I've taken a short rest, so all my company are healed here, but what... Who is this absolute? What? Are you... Are you testing us? Yeah, totally. The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. Yeah, the yeah, true yeah. soul, like you, has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. I like the sound of this. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. All right, all right. So what do we got now? Now, this is where I made the mistake the last time. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Uh, why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. Oh, God. No, that's maybe... maybe. Uh, why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go with that. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Okay, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going there. I was in the crash because that got us into trouble. What happened to your brother? Or maybe we should ask. What about but this dru druid Halcyn? Will that help? I don't know any druids. Fine. All right. Tell me about these fugitives then. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. At any cost? Okay, a uh, crude summary of much to learn. I can't do this option two. I'm having to go through all these. I've got to avoid that second one. What happened to your brother? An oil bear. I'd had him on the ground before we had a chance to react. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Oh, I see. Now we've got another option. Forget the owl bear, you're still alive. Go. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Oh, yes, do it. We'll send them to their deaths. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, true soul, we may stand a chance. Well, I've conveniently healed my party, so maybe we... Oh, all right. I guess we're going to do this. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazer. Curious. Uh, can we loot this Looks guy like without the anybody caring? Let's do it. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, God, what's going on? Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value. Something you might crave. What's going on? Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Strengthen you. Oh, I don't like this. Let your body guide you welcome the tadpole's influence. The tadpole is toying with you, resist it, or force your mind shut. Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, 
what are we going to do to this floating dead body if I let this tadpole... Okay, come on, let's just find out. It's the most interesting rather than leaving it. <gasps> oh! Oops. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. What are you doing with it? Don't put it back there. It could wriggle up your crack. Things abandon their hosts as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Okay. Okay, for some reason now the controllers have switched. I can't walk normally. What's this searching area? Okay, the controls are just screwing with me now. I'm not sure what's happening here. Going back. Right, to normal controls. Now if I press the X button... Yeah, look, it's still in this move. Yeah, the controls are screwed up. Okay, I'm using the camera controls with the controller, but the, the, the actual movement controls have switched to sort of the mouse mode. This is... most unpleasant. Right, there's the cave though. Hold on. I think we're onto something. Should we go help them out? Alright, I'm going to take a quick save here. A survival check? What happened back here? I totally missed it. Well, I guess we're going in. Yeah, alright, well, I guess the, uh, the game's a little bit now it's gone back to normal control, but it's weird. Alright, well, we'll follow on. Not really knowing what else to do here, but we're gonna go and help these people. That stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. And a vis- oh, a pickaxe. Hold on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There was a pickaxe on the ground. There you go. We'll have that. And looting the dead body, a uh, heavy stone and a little bit of gold. A little more gold won't do me any harm whatsoever. Wow, it's beautiful. The water effect's pretty damn decent. All right, I see the shadow of what we now know to be called an owl bear. Now, what do I want to do here? Can we get everybody to go into a... Hiding... Hiding failed. It saw us. Now, this time, hiding successful or failed? Which is it? No, nobody's... Nobody's any good at this. Oh, look, it's got a little baby owl bear. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Hi. Uh, animal handling. Study the owl bear's behavior. Survival back away. Performance. Puff out your chest and roar. <laughs> oh, I quite like this owl handling ability. Except I've not really been that successful. We managed to tame a squirrel. Perhaps an owl bear is simple compared to that. We've got to get a 15. Add a bonus with a bit of guidance that's added all right let's try oh we're good we're good we should be good oh, we've only got to get a one yeah baby the owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment you follow its glance and see an owlbear cub okay i'm not sure i want to do this hold out your palms you mean no harm move toward the cub back away slowly or attack. Let's see if we can get away with no harm. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. Right. I don't know what to do. Do we kill this thing? It's protecting its young. Okay, we're in a battle. I, do you know what? I'm, I'm not that bothered. We're going to have to take it on because why not? Okay, let's let's go with this. Astarian is up. What are we going to do with you, Astarian? Um, 
Shocking grasp. Oh, this is one of the new skills I've given him. The target cannot use reactions. The spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. Well, that's not good. Acid splash. Throw a bubble of acid that damages each creature it hits. Yeah, baby. Do it. Uh, I don't think we'll get him there. All right, we just have to go for the head. Okay, it's a small amount of damage. It's not that great. Uh, what else have we got, sir? Cunning action to hide. Um, we could dash. Around the back. That is not dashing. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Victory awaits. Okay, Lazelle, you're up. Menacing attack. Ranged. Applies frightened. Two turns. Frightens your target. It'd be easier to hit and cannot move. Oh, that might be useful. Let's give it a go. It's frightened. It's very frightened. I almost feel bad for the thing. Pommel strike. Can we get close? Yeah, we can. Let's go. Okay, the other two are doing nothing, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. And you missed. Never mind. Okay, what do we got? Let's, uh... Magic Missile our way through this. Level 2. This is my first level 2 attempt. Level 2 spells. Very powerful. Uh, okay. Shadow Heart, I guess you're next then. <laughs> um, what do we got for you? Uh, I really do love this rush attack. So let's do it. Critical hit. Anything else? This dip. We haven't got really anything to dip it in. Okay, end the turn. We might take a little damage here. Oh, you two can join in. Get on with it. They just went. Oh, so they've halted the baby. She just. You say she made the baby halt, but that didn't work at all. Now Shadow Heart's taking some damage. A little bit of acid thrown. Thanks for not hitting us. All right, we're up. What are we gonna do? What's happened to his weapons? Have I just not got any armed? That's what it is. I don't have anything armed. Shocking grasp. Target cannot use reactions. Spell has an advantage on creatures with metal armor. No, because I've tried that already. Firebolt. All right, because we haven't got any swords or anything armed, we're going to use this. Okay, it didn't really do that much. I will ascend. Okay, what about... Disarming attack. We don't need to disarm the damn thing. Uh, sweeping attack. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that was decent. That was pretty decent. Okay, I think that'll do. Come on. Oh. How did she do that? What's going on here? The owlbear is up on his back. His hind legs. He means business. Oh no. Before my time. Lysel, she's not dead, but she's got to do something quickly. He's Has he restored all of his health or is he about to... No, he's about to die. Lysel's got to get out of there. Uh, Yeah, well, we'll do that in a second. At least I've got one final action here. Um... um <laughs> Firebolt, 1 to 10 damage, 6 to 15 on the magic missile. It's got to be that, right? Level 2 spells, bring it on, have it all. Yeah, it's done. From you <sighs> to his dead mother. Oh god! Uh, that was not, that was not cool. 
A single strike will end his suffering. Uh, we will let this we'll little, little creature live. It hurts. What's that again? See, I wouldn't have seen this if I hadn't gone through this. It hurts again. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Okay, I think we've now we've now um, relaxed our fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Mercy, of course. I certainly don't feel so bad now. Uh, headless skeleton, what have you got on you? It's really hard to see. Uh, a few bones, I'll have them. And oh, oak father's embrace. Interesting. What else is there lying around here? Heavy stones. What is that How over there? An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. What? Where? What? What? These eggs. The ones I've just walked all over. Yeah. Good job. Good job. But what is that? A lunar statue. It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Religion failed. Arcana failed. A magical seal. No longer picking that. I'm taking damage. Easily. Yeah, quite a lot of damage. I can't open it. Yeah, I'm. Oh, good God, man! All right, one of you. One of you's gonna have to heal me. Death saving throw failed. Oh God. Okay, so every time you die, hmm. you, <laughs> you've got a small chance of getting back up again. Uh, healing word. Heal a creature you can see. Let's get this man back on his feet. All right, at least we're up. We're up, and we're going to have to leave. Uh, potion of healing, glass chalice. So all this stuff has been left by these gods, and I'm just stealing it all. Good job. The war between Saloon, an ancient tomb detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister Shah. The silver radiant Saloon and the dark alluring Shah complemented each other, and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Fascinating. I guess we need to be of a religious order or something to be able to use that. Let's just get out of here. Okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe those who've been playing the game know what I have to do with that kind of thing, but that looks like it's a lost cause. Let's just leave. I've kind of messed up a lot today. How would you punish someone who wronged you? I think Wrong killing that, that mummy bear. Say, However, murder, the baby bear... Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah, so, well, you know, let me get over my bad feelings for a moment because we, we just gave that bear a meal. <laughs> the baby bear might have starved if its, if its, if its parent hadn't died. <laughs> We've got to try and justify it somehow. All right, we're, we're in a bit of trouble here. Let me, um... Let me just have. Uh, we'll go for another short rest. Tiring shadow heart. <sighs> Everybody heal that well as much as we can. And now we have to head on. Uh, let's just get a little bit further. I think I'm going to end up in camp. I think we found a border or something. Oh, little dog. Hello. Hello, little one. Uh, reach out to pet him, sidestep to get the course or shoo him away. Let's try reach out and touch. Animal handling. Oh, okay, I'm not sure that she can do this, but we'll give it a go. We mean no harm. We've got three wisdom, though. Okay, this could work. We need a ten, so we've got to get seven or higher. Let's do it. And a bit of guidance added. Oh, this might this might be easier than I thought. Yeah, yeah, we're in. We're in. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. 
I like, I love this game, man. It's so cool. I'm still really wrestling with the controls, though. Um, but then it's probably my fault for switching back and forth between keyboard and controller. Uh, take a closer look at him. Shake your head. The man is gone. Pet him or leave. Let's take a... Should we pet him? Let's pet him. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Motion him to follow. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. So he doesn't want to come with us. Hold out your hand so he can follow your scent to camp. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Oh, we got ourselves a new companion back at camp. Well, in the meantime, little puppy, we're going to have a little look through Gomwick's pockets. We'll take that, leather boots, love it. And a personal note. Can we read them while we're in this menu? Yeah, we can. Gomwick, be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travellers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> Watch yourself, better late than never. Postmaster General Danza. Yeah. That works out well for you. Now a soft letter. Excited looping letters fill this message of hope and love. Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've, I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora. And... <gasps> Davin Jr. So this guy was a messenger. And now we got a tough letter. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the sea. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want a debt page, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. Yes. So where's the graveyard? Now we're going to have to remember that. If we ever find a graveyard. And so far this game I've pretty much almost created my own damn graveyards. Where are we going? Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Okay. This is not cool. It's a blighted you village. You back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. This could be dangerous. Plans. Looks like someone was intending to forge weapons. Okay, that guy, whoever that is sleeping the there, is, rough. is an enemy. Progress, surely. Right, we're gonna go with the Starion, who's our rogue character. All he's got to do is sneak up behind this thing. And don't wake him up. Unarmed strike. Damage one to I don't know if this is gonna work. Scrawny bugbear. Can't even see the thing. Such a grim name. All right, you, really, can, we, can we cut the small talk? I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Okay, it was a critical hit, but this thing is is um yeah surprised. Your enemies are surprised and cannot take actions or move on the first round of combat. If you surprised enemies with an attack, your action has been something something. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, yeah. This is not the best. What is this? Cunning action disengage. Oh, I don't know, man. Retreat safely. Moving won't provoke opportunity attacks. I don't know. Let's get up. Let's get up here. This will do nicely. And get a little height advantage. Might be useful in the next encounter. Why is it only a Starion who's in this fight? End the turn. All right, now the, the bugbear is going to have a go. Yeah, that serves you right. All right, at least the rest of my group can now join in. He's now got the advantage. Oh, God damn it. Why didn't I quick save? Can I do it now, just in case this goes horribly? I can. Right. Uh, right, lads and lasses. I should have thought this through. The Starion, you're going to have to try this on your own. Uh, what can we do? Oh, let's make it go to sleep. Yes. Go on. No target. No target. What? He can't be put to sleep? 
disguise yourself acid splash mage armor yeah I think you might have to armor yourself up you're right in uh, the zone can't have armor equipped what okay well I'll give it to you because you've got the least amount of health can't have armor equipped can't have armor equipped oh I can because I'm a mage Stay all right strong. well give it to me then you missed Okay, that didn't work out because I've somehow deselected the mage armor spell. In which case, my friend, got a disadvantage because we've got the height disadvantage. We were fine up here. Can we travel up there? Not enough movement, not enough movement. Let's, let's get over here and we'll try that again. Sorry about this. I know I'm. I know I'm experimenting, but that's pretty much all I can do. Sixty percent. That's better. Okay, we're, we're barely, barely touching this guy. We're all about to die. Yeah, Starion is completely done for. Oh no! Why have I engaged this thing? This was such a stupid idea. Magic missile. Pull through. Straight in the mush. Okay, that was decent. If I can get a couple more of those before he retaliates, we should be good. I am fury. I am death. Yeah, you better be. You better be. He's gonna need your help over there. Uh, what are we gonna do though? Uh, disarmed attack. Disarming attack. See if we can. Yeah, see if we can knock the mace out of his hand. That might help. Um, no, he saved it. God damn it, Lazel! What else can we do? Pommel strike. Can you even get close enough? Yes, you can. Let's do it. Hey, look at that. He's nearly finished. How did we manage to do that? Let's finish this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to finish this. Uh, you get here. Going. Take him from behind. What with? What with? What with? Something interesting. Um. Sacred flame damage. Blah, blah, blah. Blessing of the trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stuff. No, we're not doing that. What are you thinking of? Uh, mirror image. Pass without trace. Hamstring shot. That might well just finish him off. Come on, let's do it. It, it missed critically. I think I think Astarian is done for. Um. Oh, you've still got an action. Genius. Except we forgot to give you any weapons. So firebolt it is then. Good miss. God damn it, man. Okay, you're gonna have to run. Dash. Get out of here, my friend. Let's move. Run away bravely, that's what I say. Yeah. Thankfully that missed. Oh, you. Genuine legend. Ranged attack. We might as well just finish this off. It's done. That guy was a beast. Literally. What do you have on you, my friend? Uh, one piece of gold. Javelin Morning Star. That was pretty damn powerful. But it's only 0 to 7 damage. But, it's the first blunt weapon I've got, a dark ring. Something I'm sure we'll have more in the description. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, thank you. Right, well, that was decent. We're going to have to loot this place. Time to pack it in for the day. Everybody wants to go home. We have done pretty well, though, to get, th to get through this place. I don't think there's any more enemies here. All right, I'm going to call it quits. Let's head back to camp. If I can figure out how to do that from the controller. I'm going to have to look up more of, of these controls, but it's so much easier to do it here. Right, heading back. Long rest. Ending the day. You've got enough camp supplies. I bloody hope so. We've done pretty well. Now, I wonder if that 
I wonder if that dog is around here. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. Has our dog joined us? So there's Shadowheart looking at that odd, odd artifact of hers. We've still not got to the the bottom of. Uh, Astarion, yeah, you're doing all right. Lazel, very nice to see you again. Our dog has not arrived. But I, th I was kind of thinking that we'd have a conversation with one of our characters, but I think we've exhausted everything. Speaking of... Oh, he wants to talk. Okay, let's talk. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. What are you doing? I, that's exactly my thoughts. Less worthy still. More riddles from my resistant... Oh, resistant. You are resistant. It's futile. From my resident jester. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute. There we go again. Absolute. In its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Uh, well, I could do with a little more information. Will these hirelings join me, will be joining me willingly? Or do you think I can trust these cultists? I want to change all recent my class. Yeah, I can do that. I, I did have a look through that, by the way. And um, most of the points I had were actually probably put in the right place. I, I didn't, I don't think my default loadout was that bad in the first place, if that makes sense. All right, will these be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Forsooth? Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay, so they basically want revenge. I like this. Can I trust them? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Got it. You'll line them up and I just have to knock them down. All right, let's, let's talk about these hirelings then. What do I... What Very do I, well. Do I just pick one? Oh, I see. Dismiss one, hire one. Well, let's have a look. I've, it's a hundred gold and I can hire somebody. Impossible. Uh. Thy party is full. All right, you could have told me that before. So, for me to hire somebody new, either someone has to die, or I have to tell them that we should part ways. I'm not prepared to do that at this stage. I quite like my band of fools. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a little rest. Uh, a very big rest. Use... Parsh oh, partial rest. Why? Because I don't have enough stuff. Supply pack. That's that's surely forty out of forty. Yeah, full rest. There we go. I thought you could auto it would well, automatically do that. between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you Who's know that? something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. <gasps> oh! Shoot. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. Uh, it's probably exactly what it looks like. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I must admit, it wasn't obvious to me at first until my friend pointed it out. <laughs> uh, how long since you killed someone, days or hours? Melee attack, pick up a stake and lunge at the monster. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to do that. We, we, we can work around this. I'd, I'd like to know how he thought he could extract blood from me at the same breath as saying, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. 
I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. I can't a believe I broke him out of jail. sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Uh, secret half revealed, that means lies. Half of what he's saying. Hmm, why didn't you tell me? I don't care how much you need, you're not drinking my blood. True. Push into his mind, search for the truth. Yeah, I'm doing it this time. We only need to roll a two. Holy crap. Got it. Let's find out your secrets. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Huh. You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. So his master made him eat or bite animals. Hmm. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Oh, until I close my eyes. Uh, I do believe you. If you tried to bite me, how can I trust you? Yeah, leave. I, if I ever see you again, I'll kill you. Right, I'm, I've got to ask him this. You just tried to bite me. How can I trust you, man? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, what? only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Oh my god, he actually wants to do it. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. All right, but go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. Or oh, are you mad? No, oh, I don't know. Um... Oh god, what do I do? Do I let him do this? Can I quick save here? Yes, I can. I can quick save in the middle of a conversation. I hope to god that that's restorable, because I, if I let him have a little bit of this blood, which I'm beginning to feel is the wrong call, uh, I might become a vampire myself. Can't you just go and eat a rat, man? All right, let's see what happens. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Oh, this is so stupid. Let's make Why am I doing this? Shall we? Am I going to become his blood bank? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Okay, this may be the stupidest thing I've done. All right, that's enough. Push him back. Melee attack. Grab the stake and drive it through his heart. Uh, strength, persuasion. I'm just letting this continue. I could die if I leave this conversation too long. Uh, yeah. Roll. Do it. <gasps> no! You shafted me, game. Ah. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Okay, okay, I need to do something. Stop, it's too much. Oh god, it's getting worse. I've got to get a 15 out of this. Oh god, thank god for that. Uh, of course. I was just 
swept up in the moment. Yeah, I got a feeling that would happen again. <sighs> but it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. Okay, you almost killed me. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to see you fight. His guard's down, grab the stake and drive it into his heart. They're really, really throwing this option at me. You almost killed me, dude. But I didn't. And that's what matters. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Okay. Uh, if you ever try that again, I'll cut you in half. Yeah, but might as well... I don't want that happening again. It won't happen again. You have my word. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Interesting part of the story. Just a nibble. Let Astarion bite you. Well, there's a trophy in the game, so... I'm really curious to know. Hey, the dog's turned up. I'm curious to know if that was actually a good thing or a bad thing. Is like like that is going to have a huge repercussion on the future, or not? In the meantime, I'm just going to sit and think about what I let him do. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. We'll leave it here. I'll talk to the dog and Starian himself after letting him sink his teeth into my neck in the next part. All the very best. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.